Well, good day to you. It's Wednesday. As I'm filming this, today I shared with you guys the video that I filmed yesterday. And that was in relation to the, the home inspection for the buyer and what happened with the gas company. You know, part of me kind of vaguely like regretted getting shitty with them dudes out there, but I was super pissed off about it. I was just mad about the situation and we're just gonna have to see how it plays out. So tomorrow I got a plumber going out there. Currently, as I'm waiting on this video to get ready for after prison show, I got Damon under the house right now just tr uh, tracing the gas lines. We got one gas thing in the house. That's the heat. And I don't know if there's any other gas lines under the house at all. Could be, you know, from old things. Maybe the stove at that house used to be gas. Maybe the uh, washer or dryer used to be gas. Not the, the washer, but the dryer. Maybe that used to be gas. The fact of the matter is there could be some other gas lines under the house that are causing this little leak. One thing that these guys said to Damon while he was there was that, you know, it could be the littlest thing that sets off this pressure gauge. So, so there's that. Hold on one second. All right, sorry, I had to get that video uploaded. Kind of lost my train of thought, but this gas line situation. So we had to tell the realtors that uh, gas was not gonna be on yesterday because they were gonna have the inspector come back out. Well, the inspector is not coming back out because it's only the gas and the heat. Somebody had made a comment saying, why would you even test the heat during the summertime? You're gonna test the heat. You're gonna wanna know that that shit works. But because the AC works, you know, they're just gonna assume that the heat's gonna work too, which the heat does work. I, I know the heat works because we've had heat on in that house before. But my realtors said one thing that was pretty uh, insightful and they said, you know, They've seen this type of thing happen before where they go to cut the gas back on and they detect a leak, but it's because the heat was turned on or something gas was turned on. Now here's a crazy thing to mention. When they were up in the attic and I was still at the house and I said that they were like looking at a whole bunch of stuff that was neither here nor there. Like, hey, is that supposed to be this way? Is that supposed to be that way? The new guy was asking all of these questions. Um, hey, you guys wanna go outside real quick before I leave? Let's go to the bathroom, guys. Good doggies. Go to the bathroom. I had assumed that they had already cut the gas on, so I cut the heat on. I heard the heat, I heard the air handler cut on, and they said, hey, wait, we haven't cut the gas on just yet. So there's a potential that because of that, I cut it back off. There's a potential that because of that, maybe that you know registered that there was a leak somewhere. Maybe, but maybe not. Another thing to mention about that particular situation in, in relation to the gas is another lesson that I learned in all of this. Yo, if there are utilities on, leave them damn utilities alone. Don't let them utilities get cut off because look at this situation. Had I just left the gas on over there, this situation would have never taken place. Regardless, we got a plumber coming out there tomorrow. Regardless, I got Damon under the house today and we're gonna have more fun with this, you know, because these plumbers are gonna come out and they're gonna be like, well, you know, I don't know. And we're gonna be like, hey, yo, ain't shit sweet over here, okay? So there's that, but what if there's not a gas leak? And what if when I go to call the gas company back, whether there is or there ain't, and we get it fixed if there is, they give me some shit about trying to come back out there. What if it's the same folks that come back out there? There's a lot of what ifs in relation to just that right there. So we'll see. We will see. All right, get ready to head over to the house. I got my work attire on because old Joe's carrying his old ass up under that house and we're going gas line detecting. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to tell if there's a leak unless there's a loose pipe or something like that. Again, I need to emphasize this also. Yo, they was wrenching on this shit so tough that they was literally pulling the gas meter piece like all over the place trying to get this shit loosened up. So they broke the gas line. Hands down, that's where that story is at. But if, if there's a lesson to be learned in all of this, it is if there's appliances on, you're doing a flip. If there's utilities on, you're doing a flip. Yo, leave them utilities alone because you can end up in a similar situation. Let's head over to the flip house and see if we can trace some gas lines, that is. All right, I don't, have the, I don't have my camera up here, so I'm filming this on my phone. So here is the flue for 
the HVAC, the air handler up here, and this thing needs to have some slope to it. So literally all we're gonna do is remove this right here, this strap, and we've got plenty of play right here to put the proper slopage in it, which I don't know what's proper, but we're gonna put some slope into it. So that's no big deal right there. But I wanna show you guys something real quick, and that's the gas line. We found the gas line. So Damon went up underneath the house, and when you come in from that meter base where that gas connection and cutoff is at, goes under the house, and there's only one gas line running to one place. My worst fear was that this damn gas line was going to go through an interior wall, and what if we had to tear that wall out? Well, good news. So real quick, what you're seeing right there is the gas connection up here, okay? Here's the gas connection up here. And that is one like rubber tube or whatever the hell the gas line is supposed to be that runs straight back out the back of the house, goes down out the exterior of the house. It's encased in almost like a little gutter guard and goes under the house from there straight to the gas connect. So what I'm telling you is there's only two connections, I think, on this gas. And we just saw one up here on the air handler. And the other one, Damon says he's already put eyes on it underneath the house. And he says that connection is beat up. It's not a good connection. So I don't know a damn thing about a gas line, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if it looks like it's something that we can figure out, we're gonna figure that sucker out. We're gonna take that thing down. We're gonna take it apart and we'll do that. We'll, we'll fix that connection. So let me show you real quick outside so looking at this from the back of the house bang that's where the gas line comes out at that's the gas line right there that runs up the exterior of the house shoots in right there and goes over to that air handler one gas line no 90s because they've just bent it so there's going to be no 90 up there neither they just bent it and only two connections, the one that we saw up there and the one underneath. And supposedly that one's pretty messed up. So we're gonna go up underneath this house right now, see what this looks like. And hopefully this is gonna be a real easy fix. Even if we can't make this fix, the plumber's coming tomorrow and I wanna be able to say, hey, look, it's right there. That's all I need you to do. And then pressure test this and we can get these folks back, these nice guys back out here who are gonna just love seeing me again and get them to get the gas cut on. All right. Let's get up underneath this house and see what this looks like. All right, underneath the house right now and over here by the gas line, this was a hell of a hump. Had to go across the middle of the house underneath the, the center line. And uh, the claustrophobia is a little real right now, but we have definitely found the issue. And I was kind of like half joking saying that maybe the gas company broke the line. Let me see if I can show you guys this. I right, thank God for Damon. He's got the flashlight. So what you're looking at right there is the gas line coming into the house or coming into the underneath of the house. And that, put that down just a little bit. There you go. <clears throat> that nut right there has been clean, yerked off of the connection to that wiring. I mean, to that, <clears throat> to that tubing. So that's from yerking on that. Matter of fact, I can see clear into it. I can see like copper inside of it. And yeah, that's all sorts of jacked up. <coughs> so we are definitely going to need to disconnect that and try to figure out what we can do with that. And that's it right there. That's our issue. If you can see underneath right there, you can see. Huh? Now you're good. You can keep the way it was. All right, so we found we found the issue. That's the bottom line. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> Ain't nothing like crawling underneath the house. But here's the deal. When I was showing you guys underneath and we were seeing those exposed mesh metal wrappings on those rubber pipes, gas lines, that's actually the way that that's supposed to look, I guess. What they do is they gotta, they peel that first layer off, you're left with that exposed stuff, and then that's how they're putting that fitting into that piping. The deal is, is as we're tightening all of this up, even the outside fittings were spinning, and you could see there's old thread tape on that. So the reality is it's somewhere right in there, there is something that's leaking and tomorrow we're gonna have the plumber here. Hopefully they're gonna pressure test tomorrow 
They're not gonna beat us in our head on this price. And we're gonna be here ready to do any and all labor that is needed to keep the cost down. We know where the issue is. There's nothing else that you need to worry about. Just get it straight right there. So we'll see how that plays out. Hey, real quick, I wanna share this with you guys. I just got off the phone with the house a couple of doors down. You remember uh, recently I was showing you guys that house as potential flip house number three. Unfortunately, somebody had passed away from COVID. I was given a phone number. I mean, this house was basically dropped in my lap, but one thing about that, not all of the information was correct. There were two brothers and a sister. I was given the sister's phone number, but on the front door of the house, there was another person's phone number. Well, turns out that was one of the brothers who was supposedly, who had supposedly died of COVID. They said it was two brothers who both died. One brother did die of COVID. The other brother is still alive. I just spoke with him about that house and he said he had just got out of the hospital uh, but he was willing to talk about the house too cold called this guy you know all that being leery of calling people hey what's the worst that they can do is tell you to go f yourself but this guy was willing to talk about this house he said hey look the house isn't in his name yet he doesn't know how that process is going to be i told him hey i've done two houses exactly the same as that one already and he did tell me after i told him i was interested in the house he says hey i can tell you this i've already had one offer on the house and I guess it was probably the same person who built the two brand new houses right next to that house. And supposedly, supposedly, I don't really believe this, but he said supposedly, he said that he already got an offer for $90,000. I don't know that that is right. He probably has already gotten an offer for 50, 60, 70. He's definitely exaggerated that number quite a bit because ain't no builder gonna pay you no ninety thousand dollars saying that they're just gonna tear that down that's five thousand dollars right there in demolition you know just to build a two or three hundred thousand dollar house right there which yes there was a house that just sold here for three hundred thousand dollars but think about this ninety thousand tear the house down ninety five thousand ninety thousand then you're gonna build a house that's gonna cost you a hundred and fifty thousand so now you're at 240 you've got to sell that house for three hundred thousand dollars to see sixty thousand i don't i don't like those numbers right there when two streets over you got brand new development brand new houses going for two hundred fifty thousand dollars it ain't happening on this street so what did i do even though i thought that that was a bunch of bs yeah right you didn't receive that offer i said hey look i'm interested so what's going to end up happening is is i'm just trying to stay in the realm of possible i'm not trying to bs this dude neither because if i can get it for the right price and it damn sure ain't no 90 that ain't happening uh maybe this builder did say that you got to think about this these developers these deep pockets yeah they'll tell you anything but then it'll come down to well you know really that 90 was just a hypothetical i can give you 30. i would give 50 60 at the most even considering it needs brand new hvac it needs brand new electrical you know i i would be willing to do 60 at the most but here's what i want to share with you guys i know i've been on a little bit of a tyrant lately snapping on the gas company i'm not always an asshole this was a nice enough man who took the time out to talk to me and even if he was trying to sell me a dream on this house and have me chasing my tail I, i've done two houses exactly the same i know the numbers on this particular type of house on this street especially we're not going to play no craziness in terms of just buying anything for any old price but i did tell him hey look even if it's not me who purchases the house if there's anything that i can do to help you if you need the grass cut you know what i think i'm going to start cutting the grass over there i'm going to start treating this house like it's potentially mine because i got a feeling i don't know it could be the next one i don't even really want it to be the next one i want to do a different style of house but we'll see sometimes you gotta you gotta go with what's what's available and right now there ain't a lot available nice enough man took the chance had the conversation and we'll see. I told him, I said, hey, hey, keep in contact with me. Call me. He said he's coming down here after he feels better to clean the house out. I said, yo, if you need some help with that, I'll help you. If you just need a question answered, it, maybe I can answer it. I can't guarantee that I can, but maybe. So that was my first cold call. Felt pretty good. Felt like a little bit of a realtor right there. We'll see what turns up, uh, if anything, from that. And we're gonna get ready to wrap it up over here. It's been eventful. We found the issue. There is, in fact, I believe that there is, in fact, a gas leak. And um, 
Hopefully tomorrow we're gonna get that squared away. So you guys let me know what you think and hey, let's hope for some good stuff. Because once we get done out of here, oh yeah, and we got a couple other things done off the picker list. We got the wires connected, we got the ele exposed electrical. You remember I was showing you that? Turns out that was from the old electrical. There ain't nothing. I got a video of me taking that apart. I think it's a doorbell. I don't know what the hell it is. Okay, in the attic, looking at this exposed wiring right here. This is old wiring. This isn't connected to anything. This is left over from where the electrical was upgraded. So this exposed right here is being removed. This is nothing. These are dead wires. There's the new electrical right there. Just to give you a sense of that. And we're gonna go ahead and cover this up so that this is covered. Okay. Again, old wiring disconnected not connected to anything new wiring running through did that tightened up the toilet and also adjusted the rise on that flue so there's only one other thing left to do here and that's the chimney cap i'm pretty sure that's it cool deal oh yeah and get that gas line fixed i'm gonna wrap it up you guys have a good one i look forward to talking with you guys again real soon and who knows we might have found flip number three and even if we didn't trust and believe we're gonna find it. We will. You gotta stay hungry for it. And I'm a fat boy with an appetite.